Hello friends, my name is Hrithi Sanjdev and today here in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can install WordPress on your local host using WAMP server and also getting familiar with dashboard of WordPress. So let's get started. To install WordPress on your machine, first you have to install WAMP server. Let us go to web server site. www.webserver.com You can translate this page. See now we have this page in English. Now we will here go to download section. As per your configuration of your machine, you can install any version. It's 32 bit and here we have 64 bit. You can just simply click, go to direct download, download will begin. Now we will go to WordPress site. Here it is WordPress.org. Download WordPress 3.9.1 After finishing, you should have both the set of files in your download folder or any other location you have provided. Let's go to download folder. Here it is. As I have already installed WAMP server. Now when you finished installing WAMP server, just double click on the WAMP server icon. You will find W icon here, which will turn into green. If it's turned into green, then everything is working fine. Just to check if WAMP server is installed properly, click this icon, go to localhost. If you find this page, then WAMP server has been installed properly. Now we will begin to install WordPress. To install WordPress on your local machine, we will just copy this setup file which we have recently downloaded. Go to C drive, WAMP, www, paste it here. Now we will create new folder for our website. Say if we want to create some responsive website, let the name of folder be responsive website. Now we will extract this WordPress setup first, 7 zip, extract to WordPress 3.9.1 Here we have now I will just open this WordPress. I will just copy all this file. And paste it in my responsive website folder. Here I have now. Now this folder is a safe copy of yours. Whenever you work on some new website for WordPress, just make new folder, give the name to it, copy these files in that folder. Now I will show you how to install WordPress. For every website you have to install WordPress in that folder. 
It's a very quick and easy job. Now we will go to our web server again. We will go to phpMyAdmin. You can go from here also, or you can go and have phpMyAdmin. We will go to database, create new database, the name of database which we want to create. Let's have it with the name of responsive Click create A new database has been created Now we will go to localhost responsive website the folder which we have created in www directory here we will have a message blah 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 just we have to click create a configuration file now some information will be taken from us that is database name database username password database host now let's click let's go now database name should be the very same which we have provided to create the database in our web server page if you are not sure what it was again go to phpMyAdmin go to database read the name of database it was responsive so we will have it responsive username should be root password should always be blank database host should be localhost as we are working offline here wordpress adds its prefix wp underscore we can also change it if we want to run multiple wordpress installation in single database let's have it submit Now it will ask you to run the install. It will ask you some information it needs. So the site title. Let's have it with to suchdeal.com. Username. You can have your username here, but I'm using admin for now as it's easy for me to remember now you have to choose password it ask you to have very long password but for this tutorial I'm using a short one which I can easily remember now we have to provide our email address. You can also provide your original email address. In fact, it is saying double check your email address before continuing. But I will have it admin at the right. Admin.com. That will also work. Now click install WordPress. WordPress has been installed. Were you expecting more steps? Sorry to disappoint. Now we will log in to our website. Username as I have given admin. So I am having admin. Password. Whatever password you have given, you can type that. Now log in. So 
So this is our WordPress is installed in our local machine. This is a toolbar. All the functionality for your website goes from here. And let's click on visit site. This is the default what WordPress has given to us. We can install any of the theme here in appearance, themes. These are some default installed theme. We can activate any of it. Say if I activate this one 2013. Now let's visit our page. Now let's go to page, refresh it. This is what we have. This is the first post default. We can change it, edit it, we can remove it if we don't want to have any post. It's a block actually. So anyone can comment, post. If this is a sample page, we can create and add more pages in our menu bars. This is a visit area. All these settings are done from here. We can also install any other theme. As I'm going to create responsive website, I will simply go to search themes and have responsive. This is a theme I was looking for. You can search and have any theme of your choice. Here are featured, popular, latest, feature filter. Or you can search by name. Let's just install it. So it has been successfully installed. Now we can live preview or we can directly activate it. Let's activate. Let's visit our website now. See, this is how our website looks now. In the upcoming tutorial, I will work on this website, on this responsive theme and show you more option in this dashboard. And somehow you are logged out of your page. You can always have it localhost responsive wp dash admin and give your username and password you will log in back again here you are and have so this is done friends in the upcoming tutorials we will work on this site and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me do contact me do not forget to subscribe me have a good day